is JJ Ramos, Mr. Money and Life, network marketing advocate and adventurer. I love the ring of that beside my name. So, welcome to Random. Very first episode. And basically, this show is about me reporting to you my best shares and posts for the previous week. And, well, before before we actually get down to business, alright? we get down to business, and if you're not familiar with me or have been, well, just just following my vid, just uh, following my videos, strongly suggest you subscribe you subscribe to my channel right so hit subscribe and the bell for updates and for the and for my latest videos especially episodes of this show okay so let's start now first off i the uh, i just came across this uh social media examiner's uh latest pod podcast actually i actually downloaded it it's about Twitter marketing, and it's it's very eye opening for me, right? I'm not that uh, familiar. Not, I'm not that familiar yet with Twitter, with how to market on Twitter. Okay, I'm just posting. I'm just uh, sharing whatever posts I have on my other socials to, to Twitter, and I well tweet my random thoughts because that's the premise of Twitter. You, if you got a random thought. Just tweet it, and see how, and see how other and see how other people would react to it. Okay, that's what that's one good thing about Twitter. If you got, well, if you got, well, if you got a, uh, if you got something on your mind that's that's within it's within one set that can be, uh, that can be posted in just one sentence. You just go, you just go to Twitter. All right. Now, Twitter can also be used according to the podcast. It can also be used for uh, marketing, marketing purposes. It has three, according to them, it it's got uh, it's got three uses. It's got three venues of use: live events, um, <laughs> digo, digo, <boy. laughs> I got uh, I got a cheat sheet here. Uh, I just I just write it down. Breaking news and customer service. Okay, if you're in an online marketer like me, or a social media influencer also like me, or even a network marketer, okay? <laughs> Probably, you'll go for the first one, live events. Now, certain live ev certain events also promote themselves on Twitter through hashtags, okay? If you're in the event itself, or, or if you're on, even if you're on the way to the event itself, you can, you can tweet you can tweet about it just put the hash just put the the designated hashtag on your on your tweet then then click set then click post it's already there now if you want to join the discussion just click on the hashtag and you're already there now I see uh, I see a lot of potential in uh, in Twitter marketing why because a well I do a lot of sharing on Twitter uh I do my I do I do my own tweet once in a while but uh, there's no restriction actually in the number of in the number of uh, posts you can do on Twitter unlike in Facebook Instagram LinkedIn wherein you should limit it to just once or twice a day per those platforms but in Twitter sky's the limit actually. <laughs> Sky's the limit, but uh, I'll explore Twitter marketing. Uh, this the, vi the 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 podcast by Social Media Examiner is uh, sort of motivated me to explore Twitter marketing. I'm going to uh, I'm going to research on it, and uh, well, once I get a once I get a good tip, you're gonna you're gonna see the results on Twitter or on on my other social platforms. Now, uh. I have to look for the link to that podcast because I I actually downloaded the podcast itself. So I'll have to go over that and uh, I'll probably post the link right here below the description box, okay? Now, uh, what's next? Okay, new product on the live store. No, it's not actually a product. It's a product line, okay?
okay the reason why I'm uh, promoting it as a line because of one thing okay the name of the company is hybrid Philippines it's uh, it's a Singapore based company we, they now have their 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 you sell they're into cell phone they're into gadgets eh? uh, smartphones tablets even laptops they now have a showroom here in uh, here in the Philippines and I just uh, and I just uh, signed on to them as a uh, what you call this as a uh, as an agent as a sales no not an, not an agent uh, a reseller as a reseller and this is they have one they have uh they have one benefit uh that actually that actually made me sign on it's called the premium warranty okay we're in uh if you have a unit of theirs after probably two or three years probably two to three years you can have it replaced for a new one or uh for the latest one the latest version of that uh, of that unit, okay. No quest, no questions asked. No, no further, no further investment from you. You just bring the unit to them, and they'll give you a new one. <laughs> that's um, to me. That's to me. That's value, okay. They're a bit. They're a bit on the pricey side, okay. Their the products are are a bit on the pricey side, but hey, you you got a warranty like that. For me, I'm more than I'm more than willing to I'm more than willing to get a unit. Okay? I'm more than willing to get a unit. So, you might want to visit the live store in my blog. Okay, that's in my blog, and click the live store. You're going to see a video there about uh about that company, and if you want to well, book a sales call with me, just click on the corresponding link. All right, and I'll see you and I'll see you at their showroom. Right. <clears throat> Okay, what else? Mm, excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> What's next? Oh, Alex Becker's YouTube channel. Okay, this is the this is the guy I just discovered on YouTube this week, and uh, I found his videos very, uh, very enlightening and very educational at the same time. I like the one that. Uh, I like that video of his uh, about college being a scam, all right? Because well, uh, here in the Philippines, well, college is a bit of a scam here, all right. You think that um, well, you think that you can you can learn everything in college or in school? No, I truly believe that uh, money and life, huh? money and life are the subjects schools can never teach okay i strongly believe in that and alex becker sort of validated that right because in i think in the i think in the u.s uh they offer students loans just to get in just to pay for tuition to me why should to me why should you offer a student a loan are you going to expect are you going to expect that student to pay for it so that means uh, if you're if you're studying in the US if you're a US citizen you're studying there you're gonna be in debt the moment you step into college that's that's what I see that's the way I see it but uh, to be to be clear on things I'm going to leave a link of that vid on it I'm gonna do better than that all right I'm gonna do better than that I'm going to leave a link to Alex Becker's channel in the description and uh, three of his uh, three of the three of the videos I've three of the videos I've seen from him I've watched from him so far, which I will which I will recommend which I will recommend to you. If you're a uh, if you're a network marketer, I strongly recommend him. All right, his business insights are very straightforward, very very common sense. Uh, all you need is all you need is common sense to understand guys like Alex Becker. All right, so that's it. So watch for the link in the description box. The link to his channel. Now, okay, let's go to those quotes that have uh, that have gained a lot of views on Pinterest. All right, yes, I got a Pinterest account. <laughs> 
I'm into I'm one of the I think I'm one of the very few Filipinos who are into Pinterest right now. Uh, I found it uh, to be more engaging. I found it to be more engaging than Facebook actually. It's more engaging than Facebook. It's more on the educational side. Uh, unlike Facebook, it's you 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 where half the time you encounter fake news, rants, uh, spam. All right. Spammy messages on your profile, on your profile, on your page, in groups. Fuck, All right. Personally, I've had it with Facebook, but through Pinterest, uh, I I get educated. I get an education. Now, let's go to those quotes. The quotes that I uh, that I shared there were from Albert Einstein and one from Napoleon Hill. Let's discuss Einstein's quotes. Einstein's quote first. He says, The true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. This is coming from one of the smartest people who ever lived, mind you. Right? Well, he's got a point. Right? If you don't supplement your knowledge with with a bit of imag with a bit of creativity, imagination, knowledge is nothing. Right? Knowledge is nothing. Knowledge and imagination are nothing if you don't take action. That's basically it. But to but to achieve genius level, right? This is what this is how I this is how I see Einstein's Einstein's quote. To to achieve genius level, you have to throw in a little bit of imagination in uh, in everything that in everything that you do actually not just anything everything that you do no matter how smart you are if you don't if you don't uh, you don't be creative if you're not creative enough <clears throat> it's what whatever whatever you know is bullshit okay whatever you know is bullshit basically that's basically it now uh, let's go to Napoleon Hill's quote this time it says don't wait. The time will never be just right. Okay. If there's an opportunity, all right, if there's an opportunity and you decided to wait it out, chances are you're not you're not going to be the, you're not going to be successful with that uh with that with that venture or with that with that something. Like um uh, what's a bet? What's a good example? Oh, an investment. Okay? You saw, you saw Bitcoin's price go down, and you you said, "I'll probably wait for it to go up." You waited, and waited until you became too lazy to invest. All right. This, this is this is a common disease. All right, among uh, among people with mediocre minds. Right, people with small minds. Waiting doesn't do doesn't do anyone any good. All right, doesn't do anyone any good. If you wait, if, if you know if you know that something's good, but you waited on it, <coughs> chances are you're not you're not gonna, you're not going to be successful with that thing. All right. So why wait when you can take action right now? Right? The most important stage of your life is right now. Especially in decision, especially in making decisions. Don't wait on don't wait on anything. You just just decide to do it. Just decide to do it. Just do it. Okay? Just do it and take it from there. Um I've been uh, I've I've experienced that myself when I was younger. All right, I was in my late twenties. Uh, there was a chance for me to, what you call this, to to close a to close a really big sale, a really big sale, for um, I think for uh, for my for a computer set for a computer dealer. Uh, I couldn't wait on it. I couldn't wait on it, so uh, I 
went to prospect for the comp for for their competitors. So one month later, uh, they were able to someone someone from my company closed the deal. And I thought, shit, <laughs> why didn't I wait? Okay, so that's one blunt. That's one of my that's one of my sales blunders. Okay, that's one of my sales blunders. And that's that's a that's that's punishment for you for for me waiting. All right. Instead of uh, instead of getting rewarded for instead of getting rewarded, you get punished for waiting. Actually, so my advice to you guys. Follow Napoleon Hill's quote. I repeat, don't wait. The time will never be just right. Okay? Don't play a waiting game. Okay? That's basically what Napoleon Hill says in this quote. Do not play a waiting game ever. Right? Act upon, act upon something right away, then take it from there. If you want, the most successful people on earth make quick decisions right they don't they don't like waiting either they don't like to be waited upon so why make them wait why wait simple as that okay if you get if you catch my drift <laughs> basic bottom line is okay the bottom line for this quote is don't don't wait period okay just act upon something okay Make a quick decision, then take, then just take it from there. Okay, so, oh, what's oh this this is this is very interesting. Uh, from Napoleon Hill's quote to Liv Boray's video. Okay, let me fill you in on who who this girl is. Liv Boray is a world champion poker player, and she gave a talk at TEDx about decision making on how she. Uh, on how she makes her decisions during a game, right? I find I found this very educational because she had a mathematical approach to it. Now I'm going to leave a link of that video in the description so you can so you can watch it yourself. Now uh, you better watch this video, especially if you're uh, especially if you're a junior or middle. If you're an executive in a company, or if you're well, or if you're a network marketer, you should learn how to how and when to make decisions so that you won't fall victim to Napoleon Hill's quote. Okay. Now, what's next? Okay. This week's blog post of mine, okay, is entitled How Not to Fake Your Success. I'm gonna get a good laugh out of this. Okay. <clears throat> We were in a, my, me, my mom, and my sis were in a mall one day. I was uh, booking a ride for all, we were about to go home. I was booking a ride for us. And I was at this coffee, I was at this uh, first class coffee shop. And I saw this, uh, I saw this, uh, this gay guy taking a picture beside the displayed menu, <laughs> the displayed menu of the coffee shop. Okay. The... The weird thing about it is he didn't they didn't order anything from the coffee shop, right? They didn't order anything. They just took a picture of him beside the beside the menu. So I thought what the hell? What the hell did you do? You didn't you didn't uh you didn't you didn't respect the establishment by uh, by not ordering something, not even a cookie, not even a, not even a not even not even bottled not even a bottle of water. You didn't you didn't uh, you didn't buy from them. You just took a picture. You just took a set. You just took a picture of you with uh, with their menu. I I, I don't get it. I, I was stopped at that moment. So that was the inspiration. That was the inspiration for that blog post, okay? Now, um, I thought, I thought, what is, I thought, what is this? Fake it till you make it? <laughs> Every time I remember that, it, I, 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 I really found it funny, okay? I found it both funny and pathetic, actually, okay? 
I found it both funny and pathetic. Because faking it can only can only, can only take you can only take you uh, can only take you to such uh, to such a point in time, right? It doesn't last. It won't last. But if you're if you're true to yourself, if you're true in everything you do, true to your actions and your decisions, you got a good chance of succeeding. Now, uh, excuse me. Okay, I'm back. Uh, the dog was creating commotion outside, so I had to check it. I had to check it. So where was I? Uh, okay, about the blog post. Now, the reason why that that moment inspired me to to write that blog post. Well, I don't know if anybody faked their way to success, right? Fake. All the way, they went all the way by faking it. Maybe at some point, maybe during the first, during the first phase, first one or two phase. No, probably during the first phase. But hey, if you're if you're a fake, everyone else is going to notice that, especially on social media. All right. So, just read the blog post so you can uh, so you can understand what I'm saying right now. Okay, I'll leave a link there in the description to the, for that blog post. And well, that's about it. That's about it. Uh, we've uh, covered uh, we've covered the best of the best for this week. And so before we wrap it up, I'm going to uh, I'm going to tell you what's what's probably going to happen this week. Uh, we're, I'm going to. Uh, probably post another product on the live store i'm not sure i have to uh i have to gather i have to gather the proper information first before i could before i could actually post a new product on that uh, on that store of mine and well another week of article sharing is up so be sure to follow. Be sure to follow me on my other socials. Okay. Now, if you'd like to, if like if you'd like to comment about comment about this episode, feel free to do it. Leave a comment. Okay. So that's about it. That's about it. And I'll see you next episode. I'll see you guys next episode. All right. This is JJ Ramos, Mr. Money and Life. Bye. <laughs>